Hello plant friends and welcome to my channel. I wish I had more plants. My name is Erica and I love house plants and that's what I do on this channel. I share my house plant journey and today that means that I am taking you along with me while I'm going to pot up my propagations because some of them are ready to be potted up and I just wanted to do it and yeah so let's just jump into the video. <laughs> Alright, so first let me take you through the propagations I am talking about and the propagations I'm going to be working with today. So first of all, I have this Begonia Maculata and these propagations came from my main plant that I had but it was growing leggy and dropping leaves for the reasons I do not know of because it did not have best, it did not have root rot, so I have no clue. So I cut off all the tips. I chopped off the stems into the wet stick propagations and I kept the base plant as well. And these top cuttings are ready to be potted up. Look at those roots. There is so many of them and they're healthy and all of those roots have their own tiny roots. So I'm really happy and we will see where this is going to take us today. And the next plant I would like to already pot up is my lipstick plant. So it is so cute. It's quite, like the leaves are quite shiny and some of them, some of the branches are giving me new leaves which is so cute. And the roots are not as big as on begonia but there's a lot of them as well so I feel like it's gonna be good enough already. And the third propagation I have is my Hoya Pip Calyx. So it doesn't have too many roots, for example, but I kind of want to pot it up already. Just put it in soil and let it grow and see what's gonna happen. And I'm going to reuse this pot, not pot, but this jar for the propagations of my neon photos that I took yesterday and I did nothing with them up until now so today we are going to be working with them here they are, I have more all of these good things yeah, so I'm going to prepare them and place them in the jar and take you along with me for that as well alright, so let's begin let me set you up so you would see what I am doing Alright guys, so I hope you will be able to see well enough and yeah, so I have my soil right here. It's my regular soil mix apart except for the big chunky pieces because I did not want to put that for my propagations but I still wanted the mix to be airy and nice so here's how it looks like. It also is quite water retentive so I feel like that is a big plus and I would like to start with this begonia. So I have this tiny planter here but now looking at it I feel like that was very optimistic of me because this is the inner part of it and I feel like that is too small but good thing I have a plan B and it is this pot right here. So this is the inner plastic nursery pot that I have and I feel like this is going to be perfect for this actually. So yeah, let me start. Now that I'm looking at it, maybe I should start with the propagations that are a bit smaller so that because I'm looking at this amount of soil I have in this planter and I don't think that's going to be enough to start with that begonia. So let me start with the smaller propagations and then I can mix up more soil for that baby. <clears throat> Alright, so I have this planter which I really like. It's the eye planter. It was actually a candle but... Oh, I actually have a candle right here. So this is a candle and I burned the candle, I cleaned the pot and I drilled a hole and after I drilled the hole and I went to wash the hole out, I dropped it in the sink and it broke a piece out. Yeah, just my luck, but good thing I have another one. But in the meantime, I'm going to pot here my Hoya Pubicalyx. So let's do that because I'm really excited and 
I'm gonna start. So first I'm going to put a nice amount of soil in here. So that it has a lot of space for those roots to come out. And now let me place these, well actually a bit less. So it has almost half of the pot soil. And now let me take them one by one and show you the roots. So this is the roots, um, the cutting number one. So as you can see, it has a few roots, they are growing, and I know that they are starting to grow, so I'm just going to pot it all up. Let me take my tiny shovel, actually, because I feel like I want to already put soil behind this cutting. Now, cutting number two, look at that. It has a nice start root system and it's going like this. And now the smaller leaves. Oh, so this one has really small... Actually now I'm thinking maybe I should have let it root a little bit more in water, but too late. I really want to pot it up and that's what I'm gonna do. And the last cutting just started the roots. They are right at the tip. You can see them. Oh, sorry. So, yeah, it is going in. And here we go. Okay, and now let me put all of that soil. Okay, so it is potted up. Let me water this baby. Actually, I need a plate for it. Because I know it's gonna leak. So I'm making sure to water this baby really well because it just came out of the water, so I want <clears throat> the soil to be really moist so that it wouldn't have that big of a shock while transferring from water to soil. And it's gonna go back under my grow lights, and here it is. This is how it looks like. I put it in the way so that all the leaves could get the light facing from the top for them. And I feel like it's adorable. It's really cute and I really hope that it survives and that it will grow and thrive. And of course, I'm gonna keep you guys updated. Okay, so the next plant that I would like to pot up is this beautiful lipstick plant. So let's take it out of here, actually. Here you go. These are the roots. It's really nice. They look very cool. Let's see if all the cuttings have them actually. Which feels like, yeah. I'm doing this because I want to make sure that all the roots are going to be at the same level. Okay, so I gathered it all. Here they are once again. And yeah, now let me let me just hold them while they are being squished like this. Okay. And they're gonna go into this pot and once again. It is not deep enough. Oof, maybe this one. Nope. Uh, okay, this is not great. Maybe I should put it in terracotta? Wow, 
What do you guys think? I don't want to put it in too big of a pot either. Hmm. I don't know. I guess it's gonna go into this terracotta then. Let me look if I have any other options and I will be right back. Okay guys, so I found a perfect pot. I have this bottle here that is actually from the decorative scent that I'm using for my soul mix sometimes and also for uh, topping off the plants. So I had one that I just finished, took off the label and I'm going to cut it off and I have this perfect planter for it and look. It's just amazing, I'm so happy and it's so long and it's gonna be perfect for these cuttings and it's also heavy so it's not gonna tip over easily and previously I had my string of hearts here but I used a cat planter for them and it fits perfectly so it's a nice trade. Okay so let me cut off this and prepare this pot first so I can use it. It's perfectly and to make some holes at the bottom I'm going to use a candle and I don't remember how this thing is called but it's like a long sharp piece of metal that you use for to poke through something hard like a stack of paper or like a piece of leather or something um, it's used I don't know in crafts in bookmaking I use it so uh, yeah, I'm going to heat it up and just like quickly poke the holes into the plastic. So let me take the plant away for a second. I want to do this quickly because I really don't want those roots to be out exposed in the sun for too long. Okay, not in the sun, in air. <clears throat> okay, so I poked a bunch of holes all around as well and lot at the bottom. I'm really happy with how it turned out and yeah, let me put some soil inside. Yeah, I feel like I'm gonna need to make more soil actually. Um, I feel like I can put more soil at the bottom here. Hmm, <laughs> a little bit too much. Yeah, I feel like this is okay. more soil and make some more of it. Okay, perfect. Let's continue potting this baby up. It looks really good. Okay, so here how it looks like, the final result, I'm really happy. I'm going to show you guys all of the plants one more time at the end of this video, but it looks perfect. I love it so much. I really wait until the branches will go down and start draping. I feel like it's gonna look even more magical, but... Yeah, for now, this looks really good. Okay, actually, let me water this plant as well before. This looks so good, but I need to water it so much more. 
I'm also gonna use some of the water from the bottle where it was growing originally. I don't know, I just feel like it's maybe used to that water already a little bit, so... Oh yeah, there we go, it's draining. Perfect, I am absolutely in love with this. Okay, and now, finally, the last one that I have to repot is Begonia. And since I had to make more soil anyways, I have way more than enough to pot it up into a big planter, so let's do that. Okay, I'm gonna put a lot of soil at the bottom. Maybe that's enough actually. I should learn. I always want to put way more, but I think that's gonna be good enough. Look at those roots. It looks so good. It looks so nice. I'm really proud of these. Yeah. Let me... I feel like I want to pot the whole thing up together. So that's what I'm gonna do. This will look so good. I can't wait. Okay. Now let's make a mess while trying to pot it up. It's looking great actually. Absolutely adorable and good. I love it so much. There is water in this pot, but I think it's okay. It can soak it up from the bottom a little bit. I'm going to water it in here anyways, and then after like half an hour, remove all the excess water from the pot. And now let me clean up and take you a little bit higher, and then I will deal with the cuttings that I have to still make. And I will show you how all the propagations turns out because they all look adorable and I am in love. So let's see you in a second. Alright, so here's all of the Neon Pothos cuttings. I'm going to do two kinds of cuttings. So I'm going to do a complete top cuttings and also I'm going to do a one leaf propagations as well. One node, one leaf propagations. So, what I'm going to be doing, I'm going to take a branch, cut up in between the nodes. So these are the nodes where the leaves are coming out. There's these bumps. You can see all the aerial roots coming out of there as well. And I'm going to chop it up just like in the middle like this. Or actually even more... I'm gonna cut it a little... Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> so, this is how it is. I'm going to cut it a little bit closer to the bottom leaf. Just like this. And this is what I'm left with. It's one leaf, one node propagation. So this is the node, this is the top, the long part is the bottom. And... There you have it. So I'm going to be cutting up all of this branch just like that until I have, let's say, two leaves at the top. So this and this and the third leaf I'm going to be cutting off and leaving just a single node where the roots can come off. So in this case, I'm gonna cut one more, two and three. And now I have three leaves left and I'm going to remove the bottom leaf. 
and this is what I'm left with. It's a top cutting and this part is gonna go into the water and that's where it's going to root from. So I'm going to set all of my one node propagations into this pile right here. I'm going to leave my top propagations over here and yeah, here is one more one leaf propagation, which I don't know if it's gonna do much. And this is the top. And look at this leaf. This golden pothos, actually it's a neon pothos, sorry. It was sunburned in my window for a long time, so I don't know if any of these cuttings will be viable, but I'm going to experiment anyways, because why not? Otherwise, I will just throw out the whole plant, and I'm not going to do that, because this might as well be something nice. You never know. This leaf was stuck. Okay, here I have a single node which I'm going to throw away because it does not have a leaf. And this is gonna be a single node, and this will come off. So my top cuttings. Let's see what's here. Oh, okay, this part doesn't really have um, a top, so this is just gonna be one node cuttings. Now, this is quite a long branch. Even the stem is yellow. Look, I don't know if you will be able to tell, but even the stem is really yellow on this one. Which is so strange and I am feeling so bad I did it to this plant, but it's too late and I am trying to redeem myself, so give me some slack. Okay, so I have quite a lot of cuttings. Let me count how much I have of single note cuttings. So I have 18 of single note cuttings and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 of top cuttings. So all of these top cuttings will be going... Hmm. <laughs> Maybe I will put them all here. No, but this is where I wanted to put all of my single note cuttings. Okay, so I will find uh, another jar for the top cuttings. They are so cute. Okay, maybe they can go here, actually. I will look for it. But for now, let's hang all of these <laughs> nodes into the jar. This is getting quite full, I don't know, maybe I should divide this into two jars. Nah, one's gonna be good enough. And here we go, it looks super cute, I love the way it looks, I really hope that some of these cuttings will root, of course, some of them will not make it, but there is 18 here, so I feel like that is quite a good chance. Okay, now let me take you guys higher up and let me look for a new jar for the top cuttings. Okay, so I filled this jar with water. This is how it looks like. I really love this vase, this jar with all of these propagations. I'm going to... I don't know if I should actually put it under grow lights or if I should put it in natural window daylight. Of course, not in that window where it gets full sun, but in the one where it gets bright and the indirect sun. So let me know, maybe give me some tips if you have any. And yeah, it looks adorable. And I found this bottle for the top cuttings. So I'm going to be 
submerging them all in like all the way as deep as they go here we go this is how it looks like i really like i really love this color actually of this neon photos so i really hope that these are gonna do something and maybe give me a whole new plant so yes the whole final review review these are the cuttings of my neon photos, of course, I just showed them to you. The first one I potted up was this Hoya Pubicalyx. This is how it looks like. Since it has a drainage go hole, I'm using this plate for it. And it's gonna go under the grow lights. And I'm really happy with how it turned out. And I really hope that it's gonna start putting new growth for me. We will see. I will keep you guys updated. The next one... It's my lipstick plant, look at it. It is all crazy right now, but I hope that the branches are gonna go down soon and start trailing and hanging. And I love how it looks. I really like the fact that I found that bottle and I was man and I managed to um, match the spot with that bottle so well. I mean, that was just a perfect match. So yeah, we will see how this goes. I hope it will not decline. Fingers crossed. And the last baby I have is my Begonia Maculata. I really like the way it looks in the spot because this spot has these tiny, they're like dots, but they are holes actually. And it fits really well with this nice dotted Begonia. I, I don't know, I just really like like all the colors, all this red, and I'm not going to give it too much of light. So, yeah, because I kind of want it to become a bit darker and have more bright, deep colors, so I will have to find a spot for it where it will not have that bright, direct light. Maybe I will find a spot somewhere here on the window as well. And yeah, um, I don't have any doubts for this one because begonias usually, they grow really fast, all of my stick propagations are also growing but i'm still letting them grow in their uh, box proper box so yeah i think that's it for today so that was it for today's video thank you so much for watching i really hope that all of my propagations will do well and will like their new homes and I hope to see some roots growing out soon in my neon pothos. If you have any care, tips or tricks, please let me know in the comments down below because I still consider myself a beginner and there is so much I still need to learn. So yeah, let me know what are your best tips for your propagations or when you transfer plant from water to the soil and maybe next time I can also make a video about it and uh, yeah if you like this video consider giving it thumbs up and maybe subscribing to my channel it really means a lot to me and it really gives me a lot of motivation to keep going and making more content so I really appreciate that and yeah, I have all these propagations and more plans on the way, but I cannot keep on wishing to just... I wish I had more plans. See you next time.